Today, we're looking at a new way to manage the flow of your code. We're going to be talking about the Python match statement. Now, match case is quite new with Python and many devs aren't actually using it yet. No, this doesn't replace conditional statements. This brings a whole lot of new value to your code. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back, guys, for another episode of Code with Josh. For some obvious reasons, I'm Josh, and I'm stoked to have you guys here. Now, before I dive into today's video, help me out, help out the channel. Hit that like button and subscribe. If you get value in this type of content or you like my stuff, hit the like button. That really helps out my channel within this crazy YouTube algorithm. Now, today's video, I wanted to touch on something different that many devs aren't actually using, and we don't actually see it used quite widely just yet. That's because it's relatively new. That's the match statement we have in Python. This doesn't replace traditional conditional statements, but we can use these for pattern matching and when we want to actually condense our code to really optimize the flow, not just to increase reusability, but to increase the clarity and the readability of your code. So today's video, we're breaking down the match statement where I'm going to take a code example I have and refactor it using the match statement to really showcase to you guys how we do this, why we do this, and when we do this. All right, so I'm really excited for this. Now, before I jump right into the video, okay, the first link in the description is actually a free course that I've put together for you guys. All right, absolutely free. This is a trial. This is like a taste of my Python masterclass. This free course covers covers the absolute basics of Python. So if you're new to writing code, you're trying to get into it, or you're finding all these resources and it's overwhelming, okay, this is a taste for you. All right, so head on down. It's a free course. It's on my platform. Check it out, and I'm there to help you guys. Join the community. Drop questions, okay? All the other links I have in the description are dedicated to you and helping you grow in your Python journey. Everything from my Python masterclass, my ebooks, my newsletter, all right, and our Discord channel. So check those out. Drop comments. Let me know your thoughts. Enough said. Let's jump into why you're all here. Let's start doing some matching with a match statement. All right, guys, I've already got some code set up for us that's gonna break down how we can set up a switch case, all right? Now, I already have some code that I built out. This is just gonna be some payment processing. I called this legacy, because you can think of this as like the old school way of just using conditional statements. Now, this video is not about stop using conditions, because that's not true, that's not the case, and I'll explain why. But really, all this function does, it takes a method, an amount, and details. And then based on the type of payment, we have conditions to verify things, right? Um, if the amount's over a thousand and it's not verified, let's say error, else return this, okay? This is very standard. This condition is perfectly fine for this case. Now, here you can see I have a list of payments and then I have my dictionary. And I just built out these test case scenarios for this uh, product here, this project. We have a method which is payment, the amount is an integer, and details is another dictionary. Two of these dictionaries are empty because I want them to fail. I want you to see and run these errors. Now, we can use conditional statements as this is a baseline for writing code in general. These are still great when you have simple conditions or you have complex comparisons. If there's a lot of complex details happening, use conditional statements. Match case is relatively new, so not everyone knows about it or not everyone has used it before. Okay, it's new still, that's fine. Match case only came around, I think I'm on what, 3.12 of Python? I think it came out in 3.10. Now this is good when you have multiple related conditions or you want to do some pattern matching, all right? And this is going to increase readability and just make your code clearer. Now, the goal of this is to refactor this existing function. So I'm going to close that down, and we're just going to refactor this, okay? I want the function to do the same thing. Uh, we're just going to change a few details. So I'll call this modern payment processor. This is still going to take a method, which is a string. I'm using type hintings here, okay? Uh, amount is going to be an integer, and then we want our details, and the details will be a dictionary. 
This is ultimately just going to output a string, just like it did before. I'm not changing anything. Now, for a match case, we start by saying match. What are you trying to match? I'm trying to match the method. Okay, I want to match the method. Okay, cool. What do you want to match the method with? Which, which case? What is the case to match with? I can say case, and then we can just put here in this example, what are we matching? So credit card. Okay, so uh, I'm going to match the method if it's a credit card. Great. Um, I could create another match method in here. I could say match, and maybe in this time, I want to match the amount. Okay, cool. What are we matching the amount with? Well, I want the case to match the amount. Okay, so we're creating that here. Match is kind of where you first define what you're going to match. And then case is the value to the match. Now we can also do something if we want to called guards. And a guard is where you create your case, but you can still use a condition in here, right? If amount is over a thousand and the details are not verified. I can still use that here, right? The same thing. I can then return, I'm just going to honestly take our strings here, right? I can use the same thing. So let me just pop that in here. Okay. Um, now this, I can't just leave empty handed. I can't leave this hanging. This is going to run if this is true, right? Um, we don't really have else here. You can't say else, but I want this case to handle anything else that could happen. So what I can do here is I can say case underscore colon, and I can bump this inside. This is really just like any other case, anything else that happens, run this code, right? This is really the structure to a switch case, okay? Our match case. Um, now I have credit card done. Okay, that's great. I could create another case called PayPal. And PayPal is going to do the same thing, right? All I can do here, if I open this up, I'm just going to use the same thing here. Okay, run that. There is no else other case needed in this one. Okay, so we have that. Maybe we have our crypto. Crypto. Okay. Uh, in this case, do we have any conditions for crypto? I do actually have a condition, right? So if the coin is not Bitcoin or ETH, right? So we're going to build here. If the details, okay, dot get, and inside get, we're just going to say coin uh, is not in. So if details coin in, I guess in this case, I can just say Bitcoin and ETH, right? So here is, whoops, there's no need for a colon. I have my colon at the end. So our case is crypto. That's matched with our method. I can put a guard in here again. This is just like our condition. And then inside here, whatever you want to return. So in this case, I'm just going to return, let's say, processing payment amount. If you wanted to, uh, you could throw in, where's my coin? Well, since I don't actually directly have coin, we're just going to use our dictionary details, and inside there we can say coin. Okay, I can return that. Um, if you wanted to throw an error, right, you could throw an error, but I'm not. I'm not going to here. I guess uh, the error or the else case could be else if all of these, if it's not a credit card payment, it's not a PayPal payment, it's not crypto, right? What do you want to do? And what do I have here? I just have return unsupported payment method. Okay, so drop that. So. This function, guys, it does the same thing as this previous function. This is, what, 17 lines. Okay, did we chop down on that on any? Let's do some quick math here. We'll see. Oh, geez, what in the world? I just want to delete these spaces so we can count it. Oh, geez, Louise. Drop that. Okay. Uh, so what is this? 20 to 33, not counting this as a line. That's uh, what, 12 lines? Okay, so 12 lines versus 17 lines. You can see that that did condense it. Now, once again, we use the keyword match, and then we give a value. What are we trying to match in this scenario? Okay, I'm trying to match the method. Okay, what's going to be the value to that method? That's case, right? Match case. And inside here, I can give credit card, credit cards are method, and I can build, I can actually nest in these switch cases, these match cases here, 
right? And that's what we're doing here. Now, if I go down, let's just uh, run a simulation to test this, All right? So you see, let's just run uh, pretty much the same print here. Uh, we can just say match case. And I'm just going to copy all of this here, put it here. Let's just change this to say modern and uh, run our code. Okay, ideally we are given the same exact output that is just us using our match case. Look at that, okay? The same exact thing we're getting, okay? One, I made the code shorter. Two, this is more optimized because we're doing pattern matching. I'm trying to match the method with its value, okay? And this just cleans everything up. So I want you to look back through your code at this point. Don't just refactor everything, but look back through your code. See if you can refactor parts of it, right? Anytime you wanna do pattern matching or you have multiple related conditions and try and refactor it to use a match case. Let me know how you guys get on, drop a comment and let me know your thoughts. And if you have any questions, let me know. Remember that you wanna to try to be on PyLance, okay? In order for this to work because Jedi does not work. You've just learned a new way in Python to really structure and manage the flow of your code. This doesn't replace conditional statements, but the match statement is a surefire way to go, depending on the scenario. I hope you guys got value in today's video, right? This is something new. If you found it helpful or you got value in any way, hit that like button and subscribe. That helps out my channel more than you'll ever know. And thank you guys for just being an amazing audience and just being here with me. Remember, the first link in the description, that is my free Python course, The Absolute Basics. Head on down, check it out, all right? I break things down. I've created all the content dedicated to you guys to really help you grow and get started with Python. All the other links in the description are for you guys to help you grow, and I guarantee there's something down there that's gonna help you wherever you're at in your journey, from my Python newsletter, the Discord channel, or maybe the advanced stuff like my eBooks. They're there to help you, so use them. <laughs> That's all for this week's episode of Code with Josh. I'll see you next week, Python crew. Until then.